Do you need the best camera to shoot wonderful dreamy flower portraits? The short answer is no. And here's a slightly longer explanation. We're going to compare two camera lens combinations. A cheap one and a more expensive one. My old Canon 400D or Digital Rebel combined with a Canon 50mm f1.4 and a 12mm extension tube. Compared to a Canon 5D Mark III combined with a 100mm f2.8 IS macro lens. The 400D is my first digital camera and it's over 17 years old. It's an entry model and it has a crop factor of 1.6. The 50mm f1.4 is a cheap top quality lens, also known as the Nifty 50. The Canon 5D Mark III is a professional full frame camera. It's about 7 years old, but it's the camera I use most. The 100mm macro is one of the best camera lenses Canon ever made. So a cheap entry combination compared with a professional camera lens combination. Now, how does a 50mm on a crop camera compare to a 100mm on a full frame camera? The 400D has a crop factor of 1.6. This means that the 50mm on the crop will have an equivalent focal length of 1.6 times 50mm or 80 millimeters when compared to a full frame camera. This means that with the 400D 50 millimeter combination, you'll have to get in just a little closer to create the exact same composition. For this comparison, I did shoot some flowers, trying to create more or less the exact same composition when using the 400D and the 5D Mark III. I went to the forest and tested the two combinations on some wood anemones. Here's a series that I shot, four using the 400D and four with the 5D Mark III. Can you see with which camera the images are shot? It's not always the exact same composition, but it's comparable. Now, are you having it difficult to tell which ones are shot with the professional, more expensive combination? Not an easy task, is it? Now, let's have a closer look. This is the first composition. The image on the right is shot with the 400D 50mm combination and the left one with the 5D Mark III 100mm. The composition isn't exactly the same. Here I like the 400D composition a bit better. But if you look at the image quality, you don't notice a big difference. Both images are beautiful and have a dreamy look. The play of light and shadows in the 400D image is a little bit more pleasing. Also for this second example, the composition isn't entirely the same. But the dreamy feel is achieved in both images. By using the shooting through technique, the background combined by the foreground creates a very nice dreamy look. The biggest difference you see is caused by the differences in composition and not in image quality. The 400D and the 5D Mark III images are both beautiful images. The same goes for the third example. Two beautiful results. With the same mistake over here. My edges aren't clean, but overall both images share more or less the same aesthetic qualities. The last example I show you is of a different kind of flower. It's a Prunus pinosa or blackthorn. Also here I used the shooting through technique and at first sight you can't tell which image is shot using the 400T or the 5D Mark III combination. Both images are beautiful. Now, is there really no difference between the 400T and 5D Mark III combinations? Of course there are some differences. The 400D camera is a 10 megapixel camera and the 5D Mark III is a 22 megapixel camera. The 400T generates a lot more noise than the 5D Mark III. 
and the 50 mm isn't the macro lens, so you'll need an extension tube to shoot macro images. But the 100 mm as well as the 50 mm are both high quality lenses. With the 50 mm you can even use a wider aperture, resulting in even shallower depth of fields. And the 100 mm has an image stabilization and it's one of the sharpest lenses on the market. The 5D Mark III has a lot of features that the 400D doesn't have. But when shooting this kind of artistic flower portraits, you don't really need all these extra features. The biggest advantage the 5D Mark III has lays in the ability to shoot at higher ISOs, to have less noise and the ability to create bigger prints. But also remember that the 400D is an old entry camera that's already over 17 years old. When using a newer entry camera, the image quality will be a lot better than with the 400D. Now a small pocket camera or a smartphone won't do for this kind of images, but any DSLR or mirrorless camera will just do fine. The conclusion here is that you don't really need the best camera and lens to shoot wonderful flower portraits. If you want to improve your photography, buying the latest and most expensive lenses isn't the best option. If you really want to improve your photography, you need to work on your skills. You need to learn how to shoot better images and you need to practice. I can't help you to practice more. But what I can do is help you to improve your photographic skills, especially when it comes to flower art photography. Have a look at my website and discover the Flower Art Photography Masterclass.